So this video originally started as a test for a new microphone windscreen that I was hoping was going to make a big improvement, but <laughs> obviously as you're going to see, it failed miserably. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thank right. you for coffee. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Sun, oh. some breeze. Yeah, it's a nice change. Yeah. It's Definitely. good weather for sailing too. Like going to the... Yeah, we got a little breeze today. Yeah. Nice. Sun is cold today. Check the forecast. Nice change. Yeah, this is how our mornings start in Turtle Key. Well, most days <laughs> we've had some rain <laughs> I got to admit but yeah it's uh, nice to see the Sun come out and we always enjoy our mornings on deck for sure so. mm. but it's so quiet here so remote yeah. well you can hear the ocean the waves sometimes we get more waves than we want <laughs> I gotta tell you the truth you look down the deck there you see some spare lines that's because we've broken some lines because we get some nasty nights in here where the swell comes in and just bounces you around bad that's why if you look over here also we've got some spring lines tying us off the dock to that uh, big cleat over there same reason just to keep us from pounding on this dock here because we pounded pretty hard one night and uh, it's not fun. it wasn't fun no <laughs> not at all but no, it is very nice here, got to admit. There's no civilization around here within almost an hour's drive. So we didn't even bother to bring the bike here or anything because there's just no place to go with it. We just came here to get away and have a little mini vacation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little honeymoon, time away from everybody. Here, you can't get parts or provisions or anything anyway, so what we have is what we got. <laughs> we work with what we have on board. Yeah, we have a, a truck of veggie foods that come in two times a week for lucky. Uh, yeah, that's one thing they do have is there's a truck that comes from town twice a week and he's always full of fresh veggies and fruits and he'll take special yeah. orders. If you want him to bring some chicken or fish or something next time around, he'll bring that for you as well. Yeah, good shrimps, good night restaurants in front of the beach. What do you want for Capitan? I want my phone to stop ringing. <laughs> That's what I want. I don't know why I brought it up here, but man, even that you can't get away from, you know, yeah, the phone for, constantly. Yeah, for this you need to switch off. Yeah. That's what we've been trying to do, switch off, and now we're trying to catch up, so I was returning some messages with some friends, but uh, now the phone won't stop beeping. Well, not sure what we're going to do today, but we're going to finish our coffee and go from there. I don't know, because we will sail him later, the wind is good, the wave is calm. Yeah, we might so, move the boat today, maybe we go to Linton Bay for one night or something, just to do something different, but then back to Portobello. Maybe we should go round up some coconuts or something, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But, we'll figure out what we're going to do next, and we'll let you know. For now, back to coffee. This microphone is by far, I'd have to say, my favorite. It's one of the Shure lens hoppers, and it is amplified, so requires a battery assist, but the sound quality is amazing from this little boom microphone. The problem is, it's highly susceptible to wind noise. I've tried many different configurations, including just modifying some pop bottles just to cut the wind down from the sides and rear of the microphone, because that's where the biggest problem is. This one is the little windsock that comes with it, just made of foam, 
home and it, you know, it helps a little bit, but really it's pretty much useless. It definitely needs something to help cut the wind better. Now I'm thinking why not just try a smaller one and encapsulate the foam. That should keep the size considerably smaller and a lot more attractive. So, it's like they say, when you're working on something and it serves you up lemons, might as well make lemonade. Once I smooth that out, I mean, we'll sand that down. Now we need to cut the top off. So for that, we're going to use this little cutting disc. Now this is a metal disc, but we'll try it to see if it works on plastic. Okay, should be all right, but we'll find out. Now we'll be able to clean that up with a file. We have only one, eh? One right now. It is just an experiment, but well, you live on a boat, you have to learn to make do with what you've got. And that'll just pop right over that. We just gotta make it nice and smooth. Because I am pretty sure that this is probably gonna be the best silencer I've put on so far. As you guys, some of you know, I've experimented with quite a few over the last year or so, trying to get rid of this annoying wind issue. But we are in the Caribbean, in the tropics, and we have a huge amount of wind to deal with all the time. I know you guys watch a lot of videos, a lot of sailing channels, but they don't live in these areas that have so much wind constantly all the time, and uh, consequently it's a lot easier to filter wind from the microphone. But when it's howling 15 to 20 most days, it's a problem. I used to use the Sennheiser microphones. They were exceptionally good, but the mounts on them were just horrible. Just bad, bad mounts. They always broke. I always had constant problems with them. They just weren't good for our environment. So this new Shure does a very good job and has a good lower profile mount that doesn't get damaged so easily, especially when putting the camera in and out of the backpack. So something to keep in mind. The best microphone for the job is not always the best microphone for the environment. Trade-offs everywhere. And now we'll take our new silencer. And should hopefully slide right on. Like so. Okay, look at that. Looks a little funny, but hopefully it's going to be very effective. We'll have to see how it is at the back of the windscreen. I can always push this further back if I want like that. And put a gasket around the back if I want to close that off. We'll have to see if we still get a lot of noise in the back of the microphone or not. But that might be the ticket right there. The end of the boom is just sticking out past there. So we'll have to see if that's still susceptible to wind. But again, see, we can fine tune this, set the depth wherever we want here. And then put a gasket at the back if we need to. So, I think now we just need to wait for some wind and go test. So that'll be next. <laughs> a wee bit goofy looking, but maybe functional in the field, or maybe get a lot of bad comments, I don't know. But ultimately, I flipped it around, hollowed out the round end a little bit, painted it matte black, and put it on backwards. Now we're talking.
testing, 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 one, two, three. Just wondering if the audio is like, you can see the wind off. Mm -hmm. okay. Should give you an idea of how much wind there is. Yeah, it's a little high, no? It's medium high. Yeah, we need to tell, you know, as a test and just see if you can hear the voices or not. Now it should be almost out of the wind. You're over here, it should be completely out of the wind, no? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Now I go in the sky guide. It's going to hear the noise, it's going to hear the engine and all of that stuff, but we need to hear what it actually sounds like when we review the footage. Mm -hmm. Hey, good morning, guys. We going to Lindon Bay today. We're selling one or two hours. If the sea is very quiet. Hopefully we fix the radar in the next uh, few days, eh? <laughs> my captain. Again. Again, but yeah. this is a... No, yeah, our friends helped us fix it really well last time as yeah. a, a temporary fix, but yeah, when we came back towards trying to get it fixed the last time, it broke again in heavy seas, so... We gotta watch the heavy seas. We didn't try to get into it, but sometimes shit happens, you know what I'm saying? So now we're gonna go to Linton Bay, and there's a welding technician there who's got TIG and MIG welding mm -hmm. and he says that he can fix it properly so yeah he's professional yeah that's what oh. we're gonna do we're gonna go there and hopefully get it fixed we permanent a, this time yeah we have a friend then with us uh, David and Celine Dreamer yeah David, David and family. family yeah they need uh, some job too uh -huh. the welder welder guys yeah he's getting some welding done also yeah and I hope he's a uh, fun and nice day is two years that time was with some uh, new crew joe and jeremy hey guys how are you last um, time we were at linton bay yeah we've been uh, in playa blanca with day you remember almost two years ago eh? yeah but uh, i hope this time i discover more time more place i discover more place uh, i think so capitan rick have some surprise for me that's my cue i need to turn <laughs> okay, so sorry. Over. Yeah, I have a big rock. One of these uh, little islands. In the little rocks, we have one here and one in another side. One is the Drake uh, little island. And I have a nice beach with some people. Then swimming very close. And we are running far away to the storm because in Portobello, you can see, start to raining. Here we have a beautiful sun, then go out. And we start to enter in an open ocean. Nice, very nice day. We have six, five, seven, six knots, but we have a the engine. Hopefully we open the jeeps today. We have some wind, eh, Capitan? Yeah, the temperature is just over 150, which is warming up. So hopefully that stabilizes at around 160, 170 maximum. Okay, yes guys, we have a, you know, we have an issue with our engine. Yeah, it's still been overheating, but that's why we're babying it, but we need to get to Linton Bay, and it's straight up wind. So, yeah, we got about 15 knots right now, we're going to be heading straight into it, but I'm going to try and keep us at an average of about four and a half, five knots, about eight miles, so we got two hours. If we can't make it, if the engine gives us any trouble, we're just going to have to turn around and sail back to Portobello. So that's our only choice right now. But we need to get to Linton Bay because the guy has a schedule also and he has some time this week to get the uh, rudder fixed for us if we can show up. So we picked the most calm day, which is today. And hopefully we'll get there without incident. But we're not going to push anything. We're just going to take it nice and easy on the engine and just try and motor straight there. It's just around that point over there. so. Not too far, but like I said, about eight miles straight up wind. So it's gonna take close to a couple hours at the speed that we'll be able to motor. You can see we're just averaging over five knots now, but we need to make a turn to the right and the wind is already at 70 degrees on the port bow, mm -hmm. sorry, the starboard bow. So the wind is gonna be straight on the nose once we make this turn. 
Now. Okay. Uh, big wave. All right, we got a little bit aft of the beam now, so we should be okay. Yeah, yeah that didn't roll us too bad. Woo! Body's soft. Good. Stay along. <laughs> yeah, we are just coming into the entrance of Linton Bay. So it's been a pretty good trip. Engine's been holding up. And that's still less than 170. Muy bueno. Perfect. And I think we are going to be in behind the island within about 10 minutes. Yeah. It's behind the island. You can just see the sailboats in the anchorage right there. We're all in too much for staying the anchor now. So that's the town of Linton Bay just off the bow. Okay. Over there, that's Isla Grande. So that's where one of our favorite beaches are. We'll go visit soon too. Oh yeah, it's beautiful water. Uh oh, another wave. Please. Yeah, this is big. Yeah, oh, for luck, you're long. Oh. Ooh, they are long. Yeah. Only the boom is very long. Roll this a little bit. Yeah, the boom's starting to take a bit of a hit, so I'll tighten it down a bit. Okay. All right. Oh, look, it's very nice. Yeah, palm trees on the point. Yeah, it's very tropical <laughs> island, corn. Tropical corn. Okay. Point two, min point two miles, went down to 11 knots, we're still doing almost 6 knots, that's good. Tell me when I started walking up Yeah, we'll get around the point here, we're almost there. Okay. You can start dropping the solar panels on that side if you want so we can get out the fenders. Okay. And throttle back a little bit. There, Tiki. Almost there. Yep, you ready? Good girl. Now you can let them down all the way for when we go in the dock, just so we don't hit them on anything. Okay, should be just coming around the point, and then we should be able to reach Dreamer on the radio. Okay, I go in another side for the another peninsula. Let them all the way down, Maddie. Okay. Dreamer, dreamer, dreamer. Sophisticated lady, seven four. Sailing vessel dreamer, sophisticated lady. I reach over. Hey, David. We're just coming around the point now. And I can see the marina, so you can probably see us. Just gonna call the marina now, also see if they got a slip assignment for us. Linton Bay Marina, Linton Bay Marina, Linton Bay Marina. Sailing vessel, sophisticated lady, sophisticated lady 74. You got me?
Got an Bay Marina, the sailing vessel, sophisticated lady, just on approach to the marina. I talked to Brian earlier and just wondering if you have a assignment for us or should we just come in and, and find something on the outside docks? I was looking for a bow in port side tie, just drive in because I'm running short handed. Over. Okay, just give me one second. Let me show with my partner. Roger that, sophisticated lady standing by. No, that should be fine for now. We'll set them one where, where we need them later. I don't remember how high the docks are here. We'll have to wait and see. Our, our thing is waiting for you. You are coming from Isla Grande or Linton Island? Yeah, we're coming from the Linton side, so we're just entering, coming from Portobello, just on approach now. Okay, they're gonna show you where it is, the space that we have for you. Okay, they realize I'm running short-handed. I've got lines and fenders set and hoping to just come bow in on a port side tie because we have one dinghy in tow with us also, so I won't be able to just back in right now. Okay, copy that. Okay, thank you. We'll make our way through the anchorage here and uh, Look for you guys in the dinghy as we approach. Okay. Standing by 7 4. Come on. Okay. Look at the fact that if you are in a good position, good position or you need more. I see you got a couple over on this side, which is fine. This is three. No, yes. Four, one, no, three, one, two, and three. Yeah, that should be fine, Maddie, so I think we're good. Okay. Okay, so I've already got your lines ready to hand off. Yeah, these are. You're ready. This, now, this one, when he takes outside. it, needs to go yeah. on the outside, of course, okay? otherwise he's going to rip yeah. those panels right off. We'll leave this closed until we actually get there. Okay. This one, same thing. It's already coiled and ready. Okay, so perfect. I'm just going to leave it here. You just I think so. This is the first. These two are the first, and the last one is this, depending on this. No, they'll so. probably take the bow line first as we get in close to the dock, and then you just walk back and start hemming. Ah, the okay, perfect. But here, what you're gonna do, okay, I got this one. We're gonna uncoil it and walk it back down the dock here. Yeah. So we're just gonna coil it up and leave it right here. Okay. And I give it to the idea to leave. Uh... So you can do everything from right here. You pass it that one and that one. Okay. Okay, and then this is the last one then we open this do you want me to open this right now because it's tight it, yeah it's not a problem for me well it's really tight because of the weight of the solar panel yeah and uh, don't worry i swim very well no don't swim we don't need that. <laughs> and another side depending on what they tell me okay, i need to get us going because we're drifting down okay yeah a lot of boat guy in linden bay yeah my yank is not the best yeah, but my ank then give me some problems and time for mobility and the captain helped me to prepare everything because it's possible I'm not so speedy like normally in the normal time. Yeah, we just entering now and I'm digging. I need to stay already. We see in the dock. Where 
never ever thought we'd be I never ever thought I'd see Then I saw your smile Hey girl I never ever thought I'd show Exactly what I'm feeling, no But it's impossible to hide Oh, we can go across the ocean To see the world tonight Oh, say hello to the mountains And watch the new sunrise But no matter what the country The city, the street By land or by sea Together forever is my favorite place to be He's from Belgium. It. It's not because it's imported from Belgium. It's on sale. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's a good beer because it's from Belgium. Oh, okay. Let me get you one. Hold on a second. No, it's very good beer, the Belgium brand. Tarek, mm. yeah. you make yeah. a lot of SSA? This morning, me and Peter did, yeah. We had a big lunch. They have good filet mignon here. $11. Wow. Yeah, delicious. Eugenie, all is okay? Yeah. Oh, guys, thank you so much. How are you guys. doing? You're showing. That's good. No, we... That's good. That's yeah, so cute. <laughs> I, start, I need to buy some new stuff, I think, oh, so yeah. soon. Excuse clothes, me. Huh? Ponchos. <laughs> okay, you tie it on that. Give it to Eugenie. No? <laughs> I think so, Rick, is better than we take uh, some fender put in this size because this size we don't need it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we just wanted them out in case we needed them when we got here. Uh, I, I have all oh, two. Salut. <laughs> <laughs> wow, brewed in Belgium. Hey, genuine Belgian hey, beer. Chess. Salut, chess salut. Guy. <laughs> Welcome Hi, to Peter. Lynn Bay. Yep. Glad you guys are here. Right, thank you, guys. <laughs> all right, successful entrance. And nobody died. Always good. Engine's nice and cool. Perfect. And all engines stop. We are good to go. Welcome to Linton Bay. But it's impossible to hide. Oh, we can go across the ocean to see the world tonight. Oh, say hello to the mountains and watch the new sun. Forever is my favorite place to be
next episode, we get back to projects in a big way and celebrate a special day with some friends. So thanks as always for watching, everyone. You know we appreciate it. Have a great day, stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the next episode. Ciao. Happy birthday. Salud. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And now I I order for me. Okay. <laughs>